Welcome back to my channel Mathematics and today we have a very tricky challenge. 2 times 3 minus 3 dividing by 3 inside parentheses. Maybe this is the easiest challenge ever seen. But a lot of students make this common mistake. They don't know what is the correct order, what is the correct property, correct solution. They argue with each other about that. So right now I want you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. And in the end of the video we will check our answers. Choose one option. What do you think is the correct answer? Option A, option B, option C or option, option D. So here is our challenge today. We have 2 inside parentheses. We have 3 minus 3 dividing by 3. As you can see, we have a lot of mass operations. Here we have multiplication, we have subtraction, we have division sign, right? One part of students start with multiplication, another part of students start with subtraction, another part of students start with division. It turns into big arguments. A lot of students argue with each other about that. We can solve our challenges randomly, guys. We can do whatever we want. We should know what is the correct order, because wherever order of operation we select, it's going to create a different answer, right? So we should know what is the correct order. Let's look at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphic calculator works according to PEMDAS order of operation. How does PEMDAS work? PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position means higher priority. Parenthesis has the higher position. It means that parenthesis has the higher priority, right? Next step is exponents. It's like 2 square, 2 cube, like that. Next is multiplication division group. Last step is addition and subtraction. Let's uh, solve our challenge according to PEMDAS. We have 2 times 3 minus 3 dividing by 3. Let's scan our challenge. What do we have? We have parenthesis right here. Parenthesis has the higher position. It means that parenthesis has the higher priority. So this is our first step is finding parentheses. We should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, right? Inside parentheses, what do we have? We have division and subtraction sign. What we should do at first? We should subtract or we should divide. As I told before, PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position means higher priority. Division has the higher position than subtraction. It means that our second step is division, right? We should divide 3 times 3. Let's solve our challenge. We should divide. We should, we should solve our challenge according to PEMDAS. We have 2. In separate we have 3 minus 1, right? We complete our second step division. Our third step is subtraction because subtraction side is inside parentheses. We should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, right? Subtraction is our third step. We should subtract. We, what do we have? We have 2 times, we have 2 times 2, right? This is option 4, option C, right? We don't have any exponents, we don't have multiplication, we don't have addition, right? So guys, we can do whatever we want. All the time I see that my students start with multiplication, another part of students start with subtraction. We can do whatever we want, we can solve our challenges like that. We should know what is the correct order. So we solve this challenge according to PEMDAS. This is a correct answer, this is a correct approach, correct solution. First we find our parentheses, right? We should evaluate the expression inside parentheses at first. Inside parentheses we have subtraction sign, we have division sign. First we should divide because division has the higher position than subtraction. Division has the higher priority. So 3 divided by 3, which is equal to 1. Then we subtract because subtract we, subtraction side is inside parentheses, right? 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2. And our last step is multiplication. 2 times 2, which is equal to 4, right? Which is equal to 4, this is option C. This is option C, this is a correct answer. This is a correct approach, correct solution. I hope your answer is the same as mine. I hope you learned something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So thank you for your time, guys. Have a great day and see you in the next videos.